Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys some more about the printf function. So if you've been following along with this tutorial, we've been using an instruction in our C programs called printf. And printf basically allows us to print different things out onto the screen. In this tutorial, we're going to talk more about what printf does. We're going to look at how we can use it to print out things like variables and also things like different data like numbers and strings and all that stuff. So in order to use printf, we just type out printf, and we're going to make an open and closed parentheses and a semicolon. Now printf is what's called a function. And basically what that means is it performs a specific task or a specific function. In our case, printf just prints something out onto the screen, right? The task that it's doing is printing something out. And it basically works how you'd expect it to work. So if I came in here, I could print out a specific piece of information. And generally when we're using printf, we're gonna be printing out text. So I can make an open and closed quotation marks and I could print out like hello world in here. And now this will print out onto the screen, hello. And inside of printf, I can use all sorts of special characters. So if I wanted to create a new line, for example, I can make a backslash n and down here I could type world. And now this will print out a new line. So you'll see hello world on different lines. We can also use these special characters. So for example, I could print out like a quotation mark. So if I just printed a normal quotation mark right here, you'll notice that it's messing this up. So it's sort of like counting this as the entire string. If I wanted to change that, I could just put a backslash here. And now this will literally render a quotation mark. So when I run my program, you can see we have a quotation mark there. And so that's kind of like the basic usage, right? You can specify some text that you want to print out onto the screen and it'll do it. But this printf function is actually extremely powerful and we can use it to print out different pieces of information. So in addition to just printing out plain text inside of these quotation marks, I could also print out other types of information. For example, I could print out a number. And if I wanted to print out a number, I would have to use something called a format specifier. A format specifier basically tells this printf function that we want to print out a type of data that's not just plain text like this. So if I said percent sign and then I said D, this would actually allow me to print out a number. So generally when we use these format specifiers, you use this percent sign and that tells C that you're going to want to print out something special. And then after that, we would type in a specific letter and that'll tell C what exactly we want to print out. So if I said percent D, this means that we want to print out an integer. So all I have to do now is I can make a comma and over here, I can specify the integer that I want to print out. So I could say like 500. And now this is going to print out 500 to the screen. So you can see over here, we're getting 500. And this is cool because we can interweave these different types of data with text. So I could say like my favorite number is percent D and this acts as a placeholder for this number over here. So when I run my program, now it says my favorite number is 500. And that's really cool. We can also use multiple format specifiers. So in addition to just using this percent %d, I could also specify another one. So over here, I could say percent %s, and you'll notice that this is structured similarly to percent %d. Percent %s is basically going to allow us to include some text. So I can include some more text just like this. So if I said percent %s, I can make another comma here and I could say number and now this is going to print out my favorite percent %s, so it's going to look for this string of text over here. It's going to insert that in, and it's going to say 500. So now when we run this, it'll say my favorite number is 500. And you'll notice here that I'm using multiple commas. So I'm saying like percent %s, percent %d, and over here I have a comma, and I'm specifying the string that I want to print, so the string of characters, and then the integer. And so basically the order that you put these format specifiers inside of your string of text is the order that you need to include them using these commas. So you're going to separate each of them using a comma. So in addition to percent %s and percent %d, we can also use a bunch of other ones. And I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the most common. Percent %d will print out an integer like 500, but if we wanted to print out a decimal number, for example, a double, we could say percent %f and this is going to allow us to print out a decimal number. So I could say like 500.98754. And now this is going to print this out onto 
the screen. And actually, I need to build this. So my favorite number is 500.987540. So essentially you can use these print Fs and you can use these format specifiers in order to include different data types into your output. So like this is just some general text output and we can use these different guys to interweave like numbers or you know other strings and stuff like that. And where these really become useful is when we have variables. So if I was to create like a number variable up here, I could call it like fave num, set it equal to 90. I can use this variable and print it out inside of this print F. So over here, we could make this percent D. And instead of printing out this number, we can just access that variable. So I could say fave num. And this will allow me to print out that variable using that print F function. So my favorite number is 90. So that's the basics of using printf. This is a very awesome tool that we can use. And printf is basically just used for us to find out information. So when we're running our programs, a lot of times we're going to want to be able to get some information about what's going on, about what they're doing. And printf can allow us to do that. So don't be afraid to use these different access modifiers. Like I said, percent %s, percent %d, percent %f, those are all sort of the common ones. And you can also use percent %c, and this will allow you to print out a single character. So um, I could come over here, create like a character variable. We'll call it my char and just set it equal to like lowercase i. And I could print this out using percent %c. So now we could say my char. And you'll see that we print out i. So play around with printf. It's extremely useful and it's really going to come in handy when we're writing more complex programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.